So up the hill we go to find Doom. Hopefully we don't get a bunch of fire archers. That would be probably the worst thing. Speak of the devil. Because on players 8, they hurt. As you can tell by them just knocking down the poor little barbarian so quickly. I mean, they're not as bad because we actually have fire resist, but they're still they're still pretty painful. <laughs> they could still wreck your wreck your day. Oh, wait, are we? I think we might have enough fire absorb that we... Oh, <laughs> yes. We are essentially immune to them. They do a little bit of physical damage to us. I think we might have fire absorb somewhere. There they go. Now we're hurting. But it's because we're poisoned, not because of anything else. Same reason mercenaries hurting. Threw a healing potion on him. Hopefully he'll be okay. Be okay, mercenary. You can do it. There you go. Good friend. He's back into the green. That's a very weird spot for you to spawn. Just not even caring about what's in front of us. Yeah, that's pretty much the strategy of the uh, paladin currently is just charge in and just keep rushing forward with zeal as much as possible get rid of as many threats to the mercenary i don't care about the threats to anything else keep the mercenary alive keep the girl alive wait no that that's that's a different that's a show it's a different show save the gr save the cheerleader there we go now that's probably a better way to state it so you guys actually know what the hell i'm talking about uh, oh yeah, we've already seen that. I actually used to love Sword Guard on my Barbarian. It was just like a, a, a decent little like mid-level just sword that was just fun to have around. And it was bright white. Like, glow-in-the-dark bright. And so it made me happy. Is it top tier? God, no. But I used to like using it. And it was something I didn't have to trade for because they're a dime a dozen. Martel de Fur. I think that's going to be Gavel of Pain? No. That's the other one. Hi, you crazy guys. How you doing? Oh, geez. We're hurting. That was enough shots to drive a man crazy. Mercenary, don't die. Mercenary, gonna die. Yeah, mercenary, definitely gonna die. We'll throw another healing potion at it to hopefully save him, but no guarantees. Because he's gonna choose to go after the skellies instead of the meaties. Go after the meaty ones. There you go. You'll heal completely if you go after the meaty ones. I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that life leech doesn't work on everything. On one hand, I really like it. On the other hand, I can see why it could be, like, kind of frustrating. Especially with some randomized spawns. Uh, Locker Barax we've already seen. Let's go down here. Go this way. Throw another healing potion on him just to give him a little bit of hope. And just keep running. No, mercenary, do not get distracted by them. Please don't. What, where is he, actually? Oh, he's stuck down there. That's fine. As long as the enemies aren't active and he's stuck there, it's fine. He's not bugged right now, so he's going to be targetable by melee guys as well. Is it going to be a lot of damage? No, not really. I do like whenever he does get close enough, he kind of does shut them down a little bit. They get like one shot every now and then. Because the cycle on the uh, sanctuary. Let's keep moving. Waypoint? Yes. Probably more fire archers? Yes. Gosh golly gee willikers, that's going to suck just a little bit. It's another Arathas. We don't need more of those. 
I wouldn't mind seeing a Telling of Beads game. We have his switch gear ready as soon as he hits 85. Which I don't think is going to be in the middle of these guys. Hit. Thank you. That was almost bad because the might was giving these guys a lot of punch. There you go, Grim Wand. We'll identify it. I think we've already seen it, though. Mm, yeah, we've seen it. Healing potion, healing potion, healing potion. We just move on. He's almost level 85. And we are enchanted, so that does boost our attack rating a little bit. But not enough for it to matter too much. Grim Shield. Actually, we haven't seen that one yet. That's um, Lidless, I believe. Yeah, Lidless Wall. Yeah, straight damage reduction. I think our current shield is better. We're just going all indestructible. Oh, Dragon Killer. Nice name there, friend. Did you, like, star in an NES title? That was switched to quest for certain areas. Well, that was originally questing and turned into warrior in the United States. Of course, now that I think about it, usually you don't kill, like... I mean, yeah, you kill dragons in those games, but... That's not your objective. The Big Bad is very rarely a dragon, if I remember correctly. I haven't played all of them, though. I'm trying to think now. Oh, I actually love fighting those. Hey, there's our Bone Spirit. Ruh. Slowed by ice. It sucks. There's our level up. Now we're waiting for Mercenary's level up. Well, are you going to actually go down there and stab them or just let them poke you in the butt? And we'll go for more redemption, because why the hell not? <laughs> Take that wall. Level 1 Chain Lightning does not do much damage. It's just there for show. I'm not expecting it to actually reach out and touch anybody. Ooh, a Zweihander. Let's try the Zweihander. I actually, I have never actually seen a Zweihander in real life. So I don't know what they look like. Should probably look it up. What an actual Zweihander looks like. Static Field Necromancer. Eh. Eh. How far away is he? Two million experience. Ugh, it's going to take forever. It's going to take like an area. <laughs> Talking about it's going to take forever. No, it's really not. We're on Player's 8. We get like massive XP. We'll probably be like a third of the way through a level. Slightly trying to think of, like, what else I can do to restrain myself on these, because we do end up getting, like, overpowered gear. We're already doing Player's 8 Forced Melee. Maybe I should just restrict the randomization a bit more. Which kind of seems like we're just closing in on just going back to vanilla. Which is meh. A whole lot of meh. There's Ariat Plateau. Ariat. I, I, I say Ariat. I know it's Ariat. They actually say it in the cinematics. Mount Ariat. You will not defile these mountains. I actually forget what he says. Yeah, I just know he says Ariat. Technically, Mount Ariat. How are you looking? Um, almost there. I'm very determined to see him level up. Because I usually do miss whenever it pops up over his head. I actually I don't recall actively seeing it more than like twice in this. 
There's another boss down. Let's kill his minions. Thank you for my mana back. I'm bringing mana back. Some people tried to bring... Hey, he leveled up! Hey, buddy. Let's see how much damage you do now. Okay. Now you have Life Leech. With a higher damage weapon. You lost some Fade, but you're good. Oh, he's got the aura. He's a glow boy. He's going to turn solid again and have aura anyway, but still. I always find it hilarious whenever they get the that modifier. So let's see. Dodge you, buds. We should be getting close to Thresh Socket. Do we bother with Anya? Probably not. I mean, it doesn't really... Have you seen our resists? Do I really bother with Anya on that? It just maxes us out. Ah, plated belt. Sweet. I would love to see boss locations randomized. And that, that would be a lot harder to do, though. And yes, we are going to take a ton of damage from those. I hate to see that we're going up against physical here. Yep. Like I said, I hate to see that we're going up against physical here. With um, amp damage on us. There wasn't too much I could have done about that other than put on those boots that I uh, sold. I really do hate that that's physical damage. That's nonsense. That has always been nonsense. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing I actually do miss about Diablo 3. One, keeping your gear. And two, the ability to respawn at corpse. Hey, mercenary. What are you doing? Could actually come help us. What's sad is we're actually outrunning these guys. Wait, we have Vigor. Why am I there? Ever so slightly faster. Because we don't have plus skill charms. It's all on our equipment. And what is he taking damage from? He's not even in the active area. Okay, there you are. Okay, mercenary, I've got a mission for you. You have no choice but to accept it because you're my you're my minion. Actually, you do have a choice, but come on. Actually, fight the enemies. Is he going to lose versus them? I just gave him upgraded equipment. Okay. Down here. We, we've got something scary. It's your job to deal with it. While I get my body. And then I can save your butt. Nope. <laughs> he failed. Ow. Ow, I can't move. Come on. Um, town portal, heal. Trying to think of how to deal with this, because I can't see my body. I was trying to fight them, and I got stuck there. And now I can't click on them without clicking on... I can't click on my body without clicking on them. Come on. And I don't want to have to leave and re-enter. Mercenary, they're right there. Mercenary, they're right there. Thank you. <laughs> go, boy, go. He just he just wants to sit on that corner and completely ignore their existence. They actually have a decent amount of life. Honestly. If it wasn't for that amp damage, I think we would have actually beat them. I want them to come this way, but they're refusing to. There you go. There's one. Back here, mercenary. Few at a time. And there's only a couple down here. It's a boss mob, but I can at least see my corpse now. Got it. Run <laughs> away. 
That must be extra strong as well. It has to be. That or I'm underestimating how much of a difference Players 8 makes. Because that hurts like a truck. Okay, shield up. Grim Ward. Makes me really not want to go after Anya. There you go. <laughs> gotcha. Just got to juke him just right. Glad Mercenary leveled up when he did, though. Shamshir we haven't looked at yet. And he can handle those guys. So that one is Hexfire. Sanctuary Aura when equipped. Not a lot of damage. Okay. Not worth it. Oh, yeah, we have seen that one before. Okay. Got to zigzag as we're coming into them. Otherwise, they're going to just rip us to pieces. Because they're just going to do that much damage. I need to swap my drinks over. Hi, how you doing? Hoopa. Back to caffeine. Oh, no. Amp damage from frozen creepers. The more dangerous thing here is that amp damage with the succubi. Because mercenary popping out and trying to face some of them without a little bit of support, gonna get murdered. And yeah, that one had to have been extra strong. Because these are not doing anywhere near the damage. So let's see. Let's get to the edge. Follow our own advice. Follow the edge. I could actually switch over to... Where is it? Cleansing. Get that off of us a little bit faster. There you go. Got it off of us. But yeah. I think we just had bad luck there. Hey, Crystalline Passage. Not gonna bother with it. Dwarf Star, not good. We have, we have one already. Otherwise, I wouldn't throw it away so willy-nilly, but... And we just need to zigzag and not get hit by the balls. It's good advice in life. Do not get hit by balls. Don't get hit by the balls. Don't get hit in the balls. <laughs> Ow. Okay, there we go. So let's see. Come on. Murder. Not going to bother with the uh, little evil urns either. Yeah, they'd be more experienced. Yeah, they'd probably be pretty easy, but I kind of want to get through Glacial Trail. Nice. Let's go ahead and just follow the outside. Thank you for the subscription. And I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing today? Just getting murdered in a randomizer because we're on Players 8. Getting amp damaged by things. Oh no, Mercenary, no! Stop trying to fight the physical immunes, mercenary. Come help. Come stab meaty boys. Let me handle the physical immunes. Nope, he died. He just he just had his issues. Hopefully you're doing well as well. Ouch. Just if we have time after this, I, we might not, considering how long we've been streaming. I might actually do the SDF tier. And it's quite early for you, so just waking up. Hopefully getting some interesting items. Yeah, we've gotten some really good items. We've gotten some really crappy items as well. Um, Mercenary's gone on a little, like, dying spiel lately. We might need to actually be keeping stuff to sell for him. But other than that, we're actually getting pretty good. I probably should have put Players 8 in the title so people are con aren't confused as to why I'm dying so much, but it's fine. I don't feel like alt-tabbing out. Um, we will go ahead and keep that on us. Measure Schmidt's, Measure Schmidt's Reaver. Oh, God. No! I'm just going to run from those. The ghost packs are not 
terrible, but they murder mercenary. So I need to just keep him alive for the most part. There you go. Now he's fine. Yeah, we're definitely getting some interesting items. I'm having fun with it. We've gotten a lot better a lot better items overall than we got on the assassin run, because we're not getting a lot of duds. But we've also gotten no teleport, and our resists were pretty much a challenge until we got to hell difficulty. And as far as the damage reduction, we sold the only boots we found with it, and we had a weapon with it that just didn't work with anything because it didn't do any real damage. But they were both 30% damage reduction. And I do wonder why I'm not getting dud uniques, because I do have the minimum number of mods at zero as a possibility. We're just not getting it. And there goes Mercenary off to do some more funs. And we actually might end up lower level than I thought. I was expecting um, a little bit higher 80s. But I think we might actually end up just like 87. Which is still fairly high, don't get me wrong. But And honestly, 87 is where I'd say you should generally be finishing Hell Difficulty on Players 1. But with like Ungodly Items, Players 8, yeah, we, we're fine. Uh, what mods are you? Lightning Enchanted? Uh, Mercenary's gonna get killed. Nope. We got him first. I was gonna say, he's gonna get killed if he gets up there, but... Yeah. That's how long it takes to kill that with 28,000 freaking damage. <laughs> that tells you why I don't usually bother to kill those in vanilla. Let's see... And we can kill physical immunes as well, which is nice. I just ran from them because I felt like it. I didn't feel like dealing with that nonsense, trying to keep Mercenary alive during all of it. Oh, God, Mercenary, no! There you go. We blinded him. So they can't find Mercenary. If they can't find Mercenary, they can't kill him. I should probably bug him now that I think about now that we're in Act 5. But at the same time, I'm still terrified of getting dolls down in World's Don't Keep. Which means we'd need to unbug him. Because them dolls on Players 8, they got a lot of life. And their exploding damage is based on that large amount of life. Which makes them terrifying. They scare me. I mean, it is just a video game. It's not going to matter in the long run. And any salt I have is just momentary. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay, so now we just follow up this wall and we should be where we want to be. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, Ancient's Way is just right there. I can see the torches. There we go. Ancient's Way. Let's go ahead and put up a town portal because we haven't gotten waypoints recently. Just to be on the safe side. So we don't have to run through all that again. So this is a carver setup, which is nice. I don't mind that. Carver and Afflicted, those are both good ones to find. No ghost, no ghost, no ghost. Um, no, yeah. Actually, Dark Lancers is fine as well. So the Ancient Tunnels, not a bad uh, group of enemies. Our mercenaries should be able to handle it. So the only other bad spot we can have is World Stone Keep. Hey, mercenary can... Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, just stand there and stare at them. That's ideal. Fine, we'll come... Clear your body. Still play D2 on the Windows 98. Um, I don't... Is it a... Uh, oh, wait, no. 64-bit processors won't work on Windows 98. So, yeah. Um, I'm actually not sure the randomizer uh, will work on there. Because the two processors that it has scripts for are 64-bit, uh, if memory serves. And we're just going without the mercenary for a while. It's not that big of a deal. He's not critical to us. He's just nice to have. Oh, no. We only do 26,000 damage. But, yeah. I'm just trying to think. Hmm... 
mean, I, I if I... I don't think there's a 32 pr processor version of the randomizer. I would actually like to get my old uh, win either Windows XP or Windows 98 systems up and running. But I haven't had Windows 98 in so long I'd actually have to buy a new copy of it. Because I don't even have like the base system to work with it. Which currently, eh, can't really afford to do. Got to save them dollar bills, y'all. It is nice to have a mercenary to distract things, but we are doing fine without him. We're doing about the same without him as we are with him. He's just a nice extra body. You can only revive him so many times. Because I think we're down to below 100,000 gold. It's probably a bad thing. Oh, wait, there's a potion over there that I want. Uh, let's go ahead and go to that. Oh no, only 22,000 damage. Well, we eat bodies. We eat the dead. Technically, if you eat meat, you always eat the dead. Just for those of you that are thinking that sounds creepy.